Okay, so I felt ostracized a lot as a kid, and one of the reasons was because my favorite things to do was not spend time with people. I hated it. I don't know why. Like, I just felt like it was a chore. Like, I didn't interact with people. It was like, oh, it's boring. I don't like people. And eventually, my friend, well, and then we moved when I was like 10 and I didn't have any friends because I didn't really want to have friends. I actually got the option to have friends or not. And I decided not to have friends and I decided to hang out by myself more and just kind of be going to the PTSD by myself. And all my friends were in my hometown and yeah, I just moved away. But then in high school I had like all these friends because of extracurricular activities that I went through that actually, and they actually chose to be in these extracurricular activities so they were similar to me in their personalities more than say people in elementary school who their parents just wanted them out of the house for days, one day a week. And so they didn't have the same interests that I did, and they didn't have a similar personality. My friends were, um, nice to me in elementary school, and in high school they were nice to me, like really, really nice to me and they were understanding, but mainly because I understood myself, and the more I learned that I could understand myself, the more I found friends that understood me, and I wasn't trying to change these issues that I had with myself. And the more I accepted myself, the more my friends had been my friends. And I'm not going to be cliche and say, just accept yourself, you'll find really good friends, and you'll find true friends. Mm. Yes, that's true, but you're not going to accept yourself when you're 10 years old. That's just unrealistic. What you need to do is you need to learn about yourself and learn what you like and what you dislike about yourself. And then think of all the good things about what you dislike about yourself. Less about that. Yeah, sorry, this is kind of becoming preachy. Um, sayonara. I... Hey guys, so... This particular playlist is just for people who want to know more about autism and anxiety. And this can be whether you have a family member who has these issues, you yourself have these issues, and you just want to feel accepted, or pretty much anyone who's just interested in this subject from a psychological standpoint or your friend has it, please subscribe and like this video because it matters to me. Growing up with both of these conditions was pretty hard and I want people, especially with people of the older generation, people growing up in my, when my parents were growing up, and people growing up in the 90s and the 80s. And I just want to spread the awareness to everyone. I want this information to be more available in a way that's not trying to get something out of someone. So please like and subscribe. It sounds counterintuitive. So please like and subscribe just so I can know that this is something that people need to know internationally and it's not just me that feels like this is an issue. Thank you. Bye.